I'd gone to a lounge in St. Clair Shores, first time I'd ever been there, and um, Ron came up and introduced himself, and 11 years later, we got married. So I met him in a bar. And of course, that goes back now 40 years ago. No, 50, we've been married 40. Well, yeah, married you Get it straight. <laughs> I can honestly say I didn't have a goal. I look back on my childhood and realize I was destined to be exactly what I became, which was an engineer and an inventor. Th those that you would be familiar with are the stop sign that swings out from the side of the school bus, the crossing control arm that goes out from the front bumper, uh, the combination roof ventilator emergency exit that's in the roof, a lot of the uh, LED lighting products that go on school buses, a lot of those are, were developed right over in Sterling Heights, which is where our company is. And I've got over 120 patents and uh, uh, many of them became very successful companies. And that's what I then did for the rest of my life. Well, when Ron and I got married, he wanted me to quit working. So I needed to do something with my time, obviously. And I got involved in Junior League of Detroit, um, just about everything, St. John Hospital. I did a lot of volunteerism. About 10 years ago, nine years ago, I was introduced to Guardian Angels Medical Service Dogs. And everything I'd been doing up till that time sort of fell by the wayside because I became so passionate about the service dogs, raising money so that we could pair them with veterans and first responders. I'm a full-time volunteer. Happy to admit it, love the fact that I am full-time and this has become my passion. First of all, I've never had a job, never in my whole life. Uh, I've always made a good living, but I never had a job. I've never worked for anyone. I've always been self-employed and I really have never felt like I was going to work. Uh, that's why I still, at age 83, enjoy going to the office. Uh, I just, it's my hobby. That's my volunteer activity. <laughs>